Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my new video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss lead code question number 438, which is to find all anagrams in a string. So, what we have to do in this problem is we need to find a position of uh, of, of of the character from where the anagram of the second string string starts. So, for example, if we have this string say s, which is this long string, and we have the second string as a b c then we need to find all the anagrams in this string of ABC and we need to return the starting position of the character. So for example, ABC is there. So anagram of ABC is CBA. Okay, so we need to return zero in this case. Then again, we have BCA which is also an anagram of ABC. Then we need to return 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 we need to return 6 in this case okay so let us go through the code so we have two vectors which is sv and pv and we have this result vector where we are uh, storing the position of characters from where the anagram starts so first of all we will check if the second string is greater than the first string if that is the case we we are not we, we don't have any anagram because it is the string length are different so we are just returning res which is which is not having anything okay then we what we are doing is we are storing all the uh, all the count of characters in sv and pv so we are going through three three characters initially so p dot length is the second strings character so in our example it is three okay so first three characters of S string and first all first three characters of P string, which is the entire string. Okay, and then we are checking if both of them are equal or not. This is the way to compare a vector. So if it is equal, then we are inserting zero. Okay, and then we are using something called as a sliding sliding window. So what we are doing is we, are, we have checked the first three characters which is C, B, A and A, B, C. Okay. Then we are going to check B, A, E and A, B, C again. So for that what we are doing is we are removing C and we are inserting E. So how we are doing that? So we are incrementing SV's count and S of I. So S of I is starting from P length it is going to end at the last character. So S of I is E in our case because it will start from 3. Correct? 0, 1, 2, 3. So we are adding E. We are adding E's count. We are incrementing E's count. And why we are subtracting A of I? Because when we are taking S of I, it is it is being taken as a character. And, and this vector is of integers. So it is getting converted into ASCII value. So then, then that ASCII is being subtracted from the in from the offset from where it is starting. So A is ASCII is being subtracted from the character's ASCII. So for example, if C's ASCII is 100, so it will subtract 97 from 100. So it will be 3. Okay, so in that way it is working. Then we are adding E to the to the vector and we are subtracting the first character which for which we inserted so in this way it is going ahead so it is subtracting the first one and then inserting the next character okay and then we are decrementing that value and then we are again checking if both of the vectors are equal or not if if both the vectors are equal then we are adding the position of, of the newly uh, of the character which was just next to the subtracted character so for example we we subtracted this c okay then we if both the vectors are equal then we are inserting position of b okay so the next match will be at b a c so in that case it we will subtract a from sv and we will check for uh, check if BAC is an anagram of ABC. If, if both the vectors are same, then we are inserting 
B's position into the vector. Okay, now let us run this. Don't need this hello world. Okay, we, we are not displaying anything. We need to display it. Okay. So as you can see, zero and six are printed. So in this way, it is working. So if you have any doubt in this code, you can comment in the comment section below. And if you want this code, you can get it in the link given in the description box. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you got something from this video, do click on the like button, share this video and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.